let me start off by saying I usually don't do this. I usually just let the video talk for itself and show what's going on for itself. But this situation was just way too bizarre to not explain what's going on. So as you see, this squirming bug right here, that is the full grown evolved version of the super worm. I kept it in a different tank. Um, I had a few other ones of pupas that was, you know, morphing and, you know, into beetles. I kept them safe in that tank. And so this one kind of came out deformed. So I was kind of curious as to how we interact with these with these super worms. Back, quick backstory. These super worms in this tank are very aggressive for some reason. I threw a super worm from a different tank in there and they attacked it instantly. So I was, you know, I had, for some reason I just had some kind of intuition that this situation would be very interesting. Um, so yeah, I dropped it in there and they attacked it almost instantly. I moved it around. Now the part right here, I didn't record what happened prior to this. That you see how the beetles in the corner, right? It was it was way further along the wall, back the other way, and it was like kind of running. And but right behind it was a super worm. It was underneath underneath the, the, the substrate, and it was it, it was coming for the, the beetle. I'm not sure if the beetle knew, maybe it did, but the way it was moving it tells me it might have knew that the su super worm was behind it. So I'm thinking in my head. There's no way the super worm is, is trying to track this beetle down. Um, it's one thing if they just, you know, just get to eating him if he's dying, whatever, whatever. But, I mean, it was tra it, it hawked him down. And it it, it, it it popped up and grabbed him. Um, and, you know, the, the, the other super worms came. I feel like they had some kind of communication thing where they just they let the other super worms know what's going on. The other super worms come and they start all eating them together like a pack of wolves. Um, but that's what happened. So... You know, to my research, this doesn't happen. They don't, for one, they're not predatory. That's what I was told. That's what I've read. They're not predatory. And they definitely don't eat the full-grown version of themselves. I, I have never read that nowhere else. Um, so this is very bizarre to me to see that this, this is happening. Um, yeah, I mean, you know, the way it, it, it hawked them down and attacked it reminded me of how the larvae of, of predatory beetles are. You know, say for instance, a tiger beetle larvae or caterpillar hunter larvae, caterpillar hunter larvae, like they'll attack bugs, right? This is in their nature from the get go. But the way the way they attacked this beetle was very similar, and for it, I mean, for it to not be a predatory, you know, for them, for these to not be predatory bugs, that is just very bizarre to me. It's just very odd. Um, and I know some of y'all gonna say, "Oh, that's because you're not you're not feeding it fruits and vegetables, whatever, whatever." They they've had some of that. They've had I've, I've given them that, but they didn't hesitate to attack the other worm not through in there. They didn't hesitate to attack this beetle. So for me, that kind of debunks that that theory, or at least it adds some 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 more insight. It, it sheds a different light to maybe there's more to these super worms than we know. Because um, this is what the actions I've seen were very predatory. Like this is not an act of cannibalism. This is this is this was a very predatory. It hawked the the beetle down, and the beetle is, is larger than them in a, in a different proportion. Like so, it's not like it, it knows it's inferior. Like it's this is this is different. This is different. Um, so yeah, if y'all have any questions, um, you know, it, let me know what y'all reaction to this is. But this is this is very different for me. I'm very still. I'm, I'm still surprised. I, I I've never seen anything like this before. Um, you know, I know I just did the. If you've watched my prior video, I did the crickets versus the super worms. But the super worms weren't attacking the crickets. The crickets died off, and the super worms ate them afterwards, like I expected them to. But this is this is a straight attack. They attacked this beetle. It was one of them. It was one of them that did it by. One of them took it down by itself, and the rest of them came. So, yeah, this is it's very interesting. Um, very interesting observation. Y'all, let me know what y'all think, and enjoy the rest of the video.